2010 differential of calculus question 10a solve the differential equation y dy dx is equal to x plus xy squared okay so we need the x's together and we need the y together so let's have a look let's just write it out y dy dx is equal to i can factor out that x x times one plus y squared so if i multiply by the x i'm going to get y dy and divide by one plus y squared that's going to be equal to x dx and i can integrate now these at this point and we're told that when x is equal to zero y is equal to zero so y and x now the integration here is going to be it's going to go to 1 over 2 and if you haven't seen the 2011 part a video this is the math involved uh, it's a substitution rule so that's going to be 1 over 2 by the natural log of 1 plus y squared so go and look at that video if you're not sure where this is coming from and that's between y and 0 and that's going to be equal to x squared over 2 between x and 0 we're going to get 1 over 2 by the natural log of what could actually have multiplied by 2 first but we'll leave it like this 1 plus we're putting y in for y so y squared minus 1 over 2 by the natural log of just 1 because y this y is 0 so the natural log of 1 is equal to x squared over 2 so we can cancel out my 2s or multiply by 2 so we're going to get the natural log of 1 plus y squared over 1 is equal to x squared so i'm going to have 1 plus y squared over 1 is equal to e to the power of x squared to get rid of my natural log i raise the right hand side e to the power of it so well i don't need the one at the bottom do i so i'm going to get 1 plus y squared if you want to cross multiply with a 1 is equal to e to the power of x squared so two more stages y squared is equal to e to the power of x squared minus one so y would have to be the square root of e to the power of x squared minus one now this math i said part a in 2011 it's 2011 part b just to confirm 